burgers again. Well, a couple of years ago, I did two seasons of a burger show in the United States. Absolutely amazing. I was searching for the best burger experience. So I visited uh, cities like New York, Charlotte, Miami, Orlando, Memphis, El Paso, Vegas, San Francisco, and finally Hawaii. With that series, I became the Burger King of Sweden. The thing is, um, also, I wanted to, to show, to express myself, uh, how a good uh, burger experience is. So I wanted to start my own chain. So since 2018, I have my own chain called Jure Skogs, which is a fast food chain of burgers in Sweden. And we're gonna compete with the big guys, I can tell you, but we are only in the beginning. And it's gonna be a smash burger experience. We have fresh meat, the best meat you can get from Dairy Cow. Uh, it's sustainable, old animals, a lot of taste, uh, a lot of organic uh, vegetables, my own hamburger, bread, etc. And with that series also that I did in the United States, I became Mr. Hi-Fi. So my signature um, burger in Jureskogs is of course named after that. It's my high five. So I will show you how I make it today. First of all, <clears throat> I'm gonna make a truffle aioli. I have some eggs and the potato here. I will explain truffles, of course. And then uh, I'm gonna do some tallow caramelized onion. I have some dill pickles from New York, some toasted onions, and I have organic cheddar from outside of Stockholm. And of course, my favorite, Sorte Sara, the black Sara. It's a Danish smelly cheese. Uh, goes perfect with the burger. So finally, the patties. Smash burgers is fantastic for fast food because it's really fast on the grill. So uh, you wanna see my hi-fi burger? Let's go! So we're gonna start with the truffle aioli. So I bring in my friend here, the food processor. I'm gonna start up to have a, a boiled potato, a cold one. Why? Because it makes my cold emulsion sauces much more interesting. It's gonna be thicker, smoother, uh, and more delicious. And when I do also emulsion sauces, uh, I use the entire egg, both the egg white and the egg yolk. Why I do like that is because that it's uh, gonna get much whiter and more beautiful, uh, the sauce, the final, the final sauce. Okay, uh, and some garlic inside, of course. It's an aioli, right? I think one club is gonna be enough. It's gonna be perfect. And uh, my favorite mustard, Dijon mustard. Just like a tablespoon. A little more. And then some salt from the beginning, always when you do sauces, to start up the saltiness a little bit. A little bit more. And then I'm using rapeseed oil and a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil has such a big character, so you just want a little bit of it. Gentle. Yep. And, uh... Take it down a little bit on the sides.
think we're getting there. Yeah, perfection. Then we're gonna continue with uh, a little bit of truffle oil. Just a little bit. We're gonna have some truffles inside also, but you want that little taste, that little push of truffle oil. Some black pepper, of course. A little bit of lemon. Squeeze it gently first. It's gonna be easier to squeeze the juice out. Just a quick taste. Mm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Take my friend away. I don't need it all for now, so I'm gonna put it away. And then I'm gonna add some truffle. This is summer truffle. It's easy to find in the summer. <laughs> the thing is with the summer truffle, it's not as uh, high taste as the winter one, but it's a lot cheaper. And then mix it all together. Wow, this is a really luxury sauce. I'm gonna put it in the fridge until I'm done with the burger. Uh, it's gonna make uh, the sauce a little bit firmer also. Now it's time to make the tallow caramelized onion. Put on the frying pan. And then peel the onions. This is normal yellow onion. But when I'm done with it, it ain't gonna be so normal anymore. Chop it up. Then uh, take a little bit of the tallow inside of the frying pan. I love tallow. Gives such a good taste. And it, by now you know what tallow is, right? Tallow is, uh, is fat from, from uh, the cow or the beef. It's beef fat. Put inside the Chopped onions. Okay. 
You want to give it a little bit of color and then uh, take the heat down so they caramelize for about like 30 minutes. And give it a little bit of salt. Meanwhile, uh, pickles, New York dill pickles, like a like a kosher recipe, mm. crispy, has a nice like uh, sugary, but still quite pickled, so a lot of acid inside. <laughs> I think it's very classic to put on pickles, uh, especially dill pickles, uh, if you make a burger called High Five with a New York inspiration. Mmm, they're so delicious. Mmm. Eh? Mmm. Well, you see, now it's getting a little darker in color of the caramelization during the 30 minutes. I think we're soon to be ready to start um, smashing the burgers. So what's gonna happen now, I'm gonna roast the bread uh, and I'm using my normal bread, a little bit potato, a little bit sourdough. Um, the thing is, people tend to, to grill it on the outside always grill it on the inside. So now I'm gonna put it in the salamander. <laughs> Look at this, perfect. And I'm gonna dress uh, the burgers or the bread with some dressing now and put everything on. And then I'm gonna jump out to the grill and do the smash because you don't want to wait on a smash burger. So if you're two persons, probably one of you is standing here dressing the bread. Meanwhile, one person is on the barbecue. Are you following me? Let's start dressing the bread. So it's beautiful. Aioli of truffles on the bottom, even more on the top. This recipe is really not so something for you guys that chase calories. So, and then we're gonna put on uh, the beautiful caramelized onion on the top here. See how beautiful it is. The toasted onions for the crispiness, and of course, the pickles in the bottom. So ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to head off for the grill. Let's smash those burgers. Oh, wow. <laughs> smash burgers, I love smash burgers. So what do you need uh, to uh, uh, prepare a smash burger? Yes, you need a griddle. I prepared the griddle here in my Kamado. It's uh, fairly hot. You also need a razor blade to take up all the caramelized beef. It's so good. Uh, you need also cheddar cheese. This is a farm outside of Stockholm that makes this organic cheese that is uh, so beautiful. And then probably my favorite cheese in the world. Sorte Sara, it's a Danish cheese. It's a little bit smelly, but it's a delicious cheese for, for hamburgers. Well, let's get to it. Smash them up, really nice, like this. Doesn't matter really how they look like. That's not what we're looking for in our smash burger. Salt. Pepper. Mm. 
Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wow, look at that caramelization. It's amazing. I'm so proud now. Close the lid. Now the cheese just have to be a little bit melted and then we fire off to the kitchen. <laughs> the fine thing with smash burgers, they should be served a little pink. That's it. And there we are right now. So good. Have you seen those burgers? Oh, people are going to be happy today, I can tell you. There's something with burgers. They have to be served fast. See you in the kitchen. Here comes the smash. Wow. Can't wait to try it. Have you seen my high five burger in person? <laughs> it's always easier to cut your burger with a bread sole. So, voila! We have in the bottom truffle aioli, pickles, smash uh, patty with sorte sara. Then next smash patty with uh, the organic cheese from outside of Stockholm. We have caramelized, tallow caramelized onions. We have toasted onions. We have also truffle aioli. This is my high five. It ain't gonna be any better than this, I can tell you. Mm. That's a rich burger. <laughs> wow, good luck out there.